Hello guys, so today I have another collab with Pilot Nordic that is also sponsoring this video, so thank you! I wanted to take a look at some of their fine liners or different supplies that might be good to use for making line art and I thought that this would be a good opportunity to show you guys some different ways to make line art and share some tips and tricks with you. And to make it even more fun, I will draw some famous fictional characters as different animals, so stay tuned for that! So the pens I will be using in this video are the Pilot drawing pens in different nib sizes and these are the sizes I would normally use for making line art. A V razor point pen and this is labeled as extra fine and I would say that this is like a 0.4mm fine liner kind of. A V sign pen and this one I've used a lot before. It has a little thicker pointy nib which is great for thickening the line art. And lastly, a Pilot Pocket Brush Pen with this harder type of brush nib, which makes it a little easier to control, I think, than the softer kinds. I really, really like this one, you know me, brush pens. And the three last ones have liquid ink in them, which gives them a very smooth ink flow. It can also make them a little smudgy though, but it isn't a huge problem if you just let them dry a little. And if you would like to win some of these pens yourself, I have a little giveaway over at my Instagram account, so check that out for more information. It is open internationally. Also, don't forget to check out Pilot Nordic over at their Instagram. They have awesome giveaways of their products every Tuesday and post a bunch of inspiring pictures. And now I'm gonna make the random pick for the first drawing. In the left bowl I have a bunch of different characters that you guys suggested over at Instagram, so thank you! I think it's awesome that I can involve you guys in my work. And in the left bowl I have a bunch of different animals and I will pick one from each bowl and fuse them together, so it can end up as anything really. And the first character is... Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, or she is one of my favorites, and she was also one of the most requested ones. And I will draw her as a... a pig! Oh, that will be so cute! I decided to draw the animals with features from the different characters, so I'm drawing this pig here with some accessories that Luna Lovegood usually or sometimes wears, like the weird glasses and her earrings and her wand. I don't think the wand turned out exactly right though, but oh well, close enough. And I also drew her dad's magazine, the Quibbler, I think it's called in English, floating around in the air like magic. There are many different ways of doing line art and creating line weight. And what line weight does is adding more liveliness and depth to the line art and it makes it feel less flat. I'm gonna show you four different styles in this video and you can mix them and match them however you like and apply them to any kind of line work. In this first one I will only use one size of fine liner just to show you that you can do that. And I'm starting with outlining it all with clean lines and I'm using the 0.3mm drawing pen. Then I erase the sketch underneath and as you can see when having a line art only consisting of one line thickness it looks a little flat and boring. So now to the fun part, adding line weight. I'm using the same pen to go over the outlines again, but this time I thicken them at some parts. I like to draw the lines thicker at the points where many lines meet together, like a T intersection, like where the ears meet the head or where the lower jaw meets the upper jaw, for example, where the lines forms like a T. I actually don't have any specific rules that I always use when making line art, I just add thicker lines where I think it looks nice, but if you need something to follow, I think a good thing to think about is adding thicker lines where there could be shadows, like the underside of an object if the light is coming from above. 
like her belly cost as a shadow on her back legs or the curves between her front legs and where a lot of lines are meeting there are also more likely to be shadows since there are many objects together for example on the magazine where the pages meet in v-shapes in the middle there are more likely to be shadows I often keep the lines thinner where the light is more likely to hit, like the curves that are going out from the character, like on top of the head and the upper parts of the ears. But as I said, I don't follow any specific rules, I often just try to have a good balance between lighter and thicker lines. I also think that the more you practice, the better feeling you will get for it. So I think that my best tip really is to keep a good mix of thicker and thinner lines and your work will automatically feel more alive. So here you have the final result, clean line art made with one size of pen only and a little bit of patience because line arts like this can take a little time to make and Luna turned out so cute! So the next character I'm gonna draw is Captain America and I will draw him as a, a snail! Oh my god, this is just so perfect! So this must be my favorite fusion of the ones I'm drawing here today. It was just perfect drawing the snail's shell as Captain America's shield and the little helmet with antennas poking out. It is so adorable. I love snails. Also, I have way many more characters I like to draw as animals. So if you want to see more videos like this with random character and animal pick, leave a like, let's say 2000 likes and I will make another video just so I know what you want to see. You can also suggest more fictional characters and animals in the comments below. So for this one I will use the thicker V sign pen and the V razor pen and some of the finer drawing pens and what I'm gonna show you now is how to add line weight by making thicker outlines. So I'm starting by filling in all the lines with a finer pen and erasing the sketch underneath and then I'm thickening all the outer lines, the lines that are going around the snail. And I actually think that you could leave it like this, it already has a more interesting and cartoony feeling, but I want to fill in some of the lines that faded before when I erased, and I also like to add some more line weight and details, and I'm using the same techniques as in the first drawing. Making thicker lines is also good for separating different objects from each other and I also think that the thicker the lines are, the more cartoony the object will look and I like to add little details like spots or lines to make it look more organic. And here you have Captain America, the snail, made with thicker outlines and many different pen sizes. So the next character I'm gonna draw is Sailor Moon and I will draw her as a fox. Oh, I love that. I love foxes. So I wanted to draw this fox in the classic Sailor Moon outfit with a bow and the headpiece and all that. And I did actually think about adding her braids too, but I don't know, it just looked weird I think, like we were entering the furry territory, which isn't a bad thing though, but it wasn't what I was going for. And in the last minute I also added Luna the cat, because we need more cats in these drawings. Now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways of making line art in a sketchy style. I like this style because it feels so alive and I just think it's fun working this way with markers or fine liners I mean. And it is also very forgiving if you make mistakes. So I'm just filling in the outlines first and then erasing the sketch underneath as I've done before. And as you can see I left little gaps here and there in the line art by some of the corners and I think this gives the line work a more airy, light, sketchy feeling. Then I'm starting to go over the lines again, still using the same techniques as in the two other drawings, but now I'm giving it a more sketchy look by drawing kind of 
double lines at some parts like I'm sketching with a pencil so I'm not as neat filling in the lines and what I also like to do which isn't necessary but I just think it's fun is to add semi crosshatching to add shading and I think that when you get a hang of this technique it is one of the more relaxed ways of doing line work since it isn't as noticeable if you mess something up like I do. So here's the result of what I call sketchy line art and Sailor Fox is so cute, I'm especially happy with her face and cute smile. Let's pick the last character, which is Link! Oh, I was hoping for him! And I will draw him as a weasel, oh that will be interesting. So when I was picturing Link as a weasel, I imagined him being like transformed or shrunken into a weasel by some magical bad guy. And he isn't too happy about it, of course, because the Master Sword is still the normal size and is now too big for him to use. And he could probably not use it anyway since he has weasel paws now. And Navi is there too, giving him helpful tips, as always. And let me know which of these animals that I've drawn here today that is your favorite. I am still in love with that Captain America snail. So for this line art, I'm gonna use the brush pen. And I love using brush pens for line work, since it kind of gives you free line weight. You don't have to do a lot of work to get nice looking line art. And you usually don't have to go over the lines twice as in the other methods that I showed you. The only thing you have to do really, and now I'm explaining it very basically, is to add more pressure to the pen and less pressure to get thicker lines and thinner lines. And of course it takes a little bit of practice to get it right, but as I said before, as long as you are mixing thicker lines with thinner, you will get a pretty nice and decent looking line weight. I often start drawing a line with a lighter pressure, which gives a thinner line. Then I press a little harder on the middle, and then by the end of the line I loosen the pressure again and taper the line. Sometimes I start with a harder pressure and taper the lines like a brush stroke. And honestly, in my personal opinion, there are no right or wrong. Do whatever feels right for you and what you like. And practice is the key here, really. And you don't have to make it look sketchy like this. You can make cleaner lines too with brush pens. This is just the way I like to do it. So here you have Link as a grumpy little weasel. I've colored all the pictures in Photoshop afterwards to show you how they look with colors. And they all turned out so adorable. Here we have them together, so you can see the difference between the different line art styles. The first one made in a cleaner style with one size of pen only. The second one also with a cleaner line art, but in a more cartoony style with thicker line art. The third one made in a sketchy style with a semi cross hatching. And the fourth one also made in a sketchy style but with a brush pen. And these are just some styles that I've been using a lot myself. And you can mix them and match them the way you want. Just have fun with it. I hope you found this video helpful or entertaining. And that you love these animal characters as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!